Vince Goa from the Detroit News here with former University of Michigan quarterback and now Mich Michigan Sports Hall of Fame, Luke Leach. Rick, what was it like getting the call? Well, it was a tremendous honor and uh, a little overwhelming, to be honest. Uh, I've been at the banquet a few times with some of my friends or former teammates. Uh, I've been inducted and... Uh, you know, when you get that phone call, uh, like I said, it's a little bit overwhelming. But for me, it's a celebration of all the people that have been so important to me, my uh, coaches, my school that I attended, the Detroit Tigers, University of Michigan. So uh, I'm very, very honored. Before Chad Henney was the quarterback to leave U of M as a freshman, you were the first freshman quarterback to ever leave Michigan, you know, from the freshman class. What was that pressure like back then? Well, I think my head was spinning so fast trying to learn the offense, the plays, the cadence, and personnel, and then study film of the other teams. I didn't have a whole lot of time uh, to be nervous. Um, I was confident because Michigan uh, had so many returning players and a lot of upperclassmen, so Bo felt uh, confident, I think, that they could cover up a lot of the issues that I may have as a freshman. Um, so it was... Uh, you know, I'm very proud that that happened. One of my friends that was a senior uh, that came out on the short end of that stick, I'll, his name was Mark Elzinga, and I'll truly uh, always love him and respect him for the help that he gave me in a, in a situation that I'm sure wasn't easy for him. Now, Bo Beckler said after your senior year, you should have won the Heisman <laughs> Trophy. Now, you fast forward it to the day, you have a little wider smile on your face because Michigan's current fresh uh, sophomore quarterback uh, Denard Robinson, you have to be impressed with what he's done so far, right? Wow. You know, and the thing that's so impressive to me is that basically he had a little bit of playing time, but he was kind of one-dimensional. Uh, but I've known since the time he stepped on campus. He's a great kid, a great competitor. He's worked very hard. And even when I look back at last year, uh, he knew what he had to work on and what it was going to take to try and get there. And he was very confident that at some point he could be the quarterback at Michigan. So to see what he's done in the first two games and with especially for me the composure uh, that he has and, and the cold uh, water in his veins. Uh, I'm just so happy for that young man. And uh, in fact, on the way over here with my parents, we were discussing where there was already Heisman talk and, and stuff. And uh, he knows better. I mean, he's had two great games, and I'm very proud of him. But in our situation, what we've been through the last couple of years, there's danger lurking every week. So he understands that. Now, last thing, you were a three-sport star at Flint. You played both football and baseball at Michigan. How did your skills kind of correlate as far as on the playing from translating from one field of play to the next field of play? Well, it was tough for me. Um, especially most guys at the college level have to focus on one sport and more so nowadays. They start kids at a young age and uh, advanced teams, travel teams, and more and more they like a lot of kids to kind of specialize in one sport. And I'm not fond of that because I think kids that are very athletic, number one, that gives them an opportunity uh, to do other things so they don't burn out and I just think it's a natural process because most of your good athletes are better at more than one sport so uh, it was tough I wish I could have had an opportunity uh, to play try and play uh, basketball there but uh, sure. with a correlation of the schedules that never came about right. well, congratulations and thank you again, Vince. Rick. appreciate it thank all you. right thank you